Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here with an Etsy update. So, I was going to stand but I think I said I have got some book bundles which I very rarely do but I have so many books and I've been hanging on to these for a long time because I hoard them and I'm going to move them on. So it's kind of like a little book sale in the sense that I'm going to discount them. So purchasing the bundle, they will be discounted um, from the price that I would normally sell them at. And I'm doing a video because I feel like I need to explain what's happening. So I've photographed them. Most of the, the bundles I've photographed just maybe the like the grouping like this. And then I'll call them bundle one, bundle two in the listing. Um, and I'm going to put them in my shop before the video goes up. So possibly, you know, if you click on the link, they may not be there anymore. Um, I think it's a nice way um, to com already have the shipping combined and a fixed price for the bundle of books. Um, and I've done a few bundles that are under one kilo. And most of these, you know, books are heavy. Uh, around the two kilo mark so um that some of them will go over but um if i'm in some cases i'll be able to ship with fedex and i get a better price with them for heavier items so i'll just quickly show you the bundles and some of them are worm damaged books and you know that we i love them and i know a lot of you love them and these are all books that you will have no problem pulling apart because quite often um I sell the more pristine books and I know that some of you have trouble pulling them apart. I think you'll have no trouble with these. And there are some lovely books in here. I'll just quickly, um, so 1869, this is some of my favourite types of paper. This one is not worm damaged, um, has been rebound I think. So I'll just turn that over. But really nice covers. Some of them don't have huge deep spines but you pull it apart. And increase the spine and then you can make a nice journal out of it they do have like lot codes and things on them um, some of them are French this one's 1857 again fabulous paper love making tags out of those sorts of things and journal cards uh, this one um, it, this one I think is rag paper that one's also French 1825 yes rag paper this one great condition great condition and no trouble pulling that apart and great size um, so it's about eight inches by um, five so good size and then this is a bigger one really nice book 1845 it's got rag paper there um, this is not rag paper but really really gorgeous paper and normally I would sell that book separately but I do have a lot of books and I just feel like I need to um, you know move some on and share them because I, you know, can't use them all. And so, and I'm slow at selling them. I take my time, as you know. And so um, this is bundle two. Hopefully I'll be able to find them all and do them in order. This one has three books because they're heavier. So this one is a doozy. These are really nice covers. Um, worm, worm holes here. Not too bad inside. Um, 1825 and someone's done some writing rag paper this one this one's this one's a good one probably be slightly more expensive um, again rag paper 1813 so this one's a really good book a uh, good book good um, lot and then this one here is not rag paper but equally lovely and a tiny bit of worm damage and the date has disappeared oh 1869 there you go sometimes it's on the spine oh look at that and a lovely communion card in there yeah i always leave if there's little surprises in them i always leave them in there i think that's fair enough so that's bundle two um i'm putting them in a box bundle three has four books just because i these are the under they're around two kilo bundles so i think this is similar to the previous one 1869 like probably another volume of it this is a particularly worm damaged book but i this cover is like a a blue gray and it has lovely um label on it and you wait i mean it's very damaged and i'll shake out all the dirt um and these are books were they've cut the dates off um but these books were 1860s 
Yeah, but re I love the covers. That's why I got them from the gentleman when I got the Wormy books. This is a really nice cover. Great to um, actually could do a nice Christmas journal. Obviously, break it apart and make this, you know, the the spine deeper. That one's 1905. Still nice paper. Love the um, title page too. Love that, the font on there. And then we have a big book. And this one is 1855. But really nice paper. Love that paper. Really nice paper and good condition. So there's one worm one. Now with the worm books, I would highly recommend that you, when they arrive, you pull them apart immediately. They're messy. They've got um, book dust created by the worms. I did freeze them all. I don't know if there's any in there now that are active. Um, you know that I, fr I took me months. I'm still freezing some. Actually, I found some more boxes that I needed to freeze. Um, and so, yeah, just take it outside. It's messy, so don't wear your best clothes. Pull it apart, shake out all the pages, and then you're, you're set to go. You'll be, you'll be right. I do recommend that. So that's book uh, bundle three. Bundle four has five, has the same book. I've got quite a few volumes of this. Very worm damaged. Um, one of them did have the date, have a date in it. I think it might be this one that I could read, 1867. So really falling apart, but really nice paper. Great paper to use and lovely. I love the covers. And I think I've made a journal out of them, that one of those covers already. 1853 French book, really nice. Um, these are the papers that I use a lot when I'm making tags and things in my videos. Um, and then this one has a tiny bit of worm damage. 1799. Oh, Opera di Niccolo Machiavelli. So really cool book. Very cool book. Um, yep, love that. And then this is a nice size. Not a big spine, but you can pull it apart. And this one I couldn't find the date. It's missing its title page. Um, I want to say it's probably end of 1800s or early, very early 1900s. Sometimes there's a date at the back. I couldn't find one. Um, no, no date. And sometimes there's one on the spine, but no date on that one. But nice cover. I would use that cover. Okay, so that's bundle four. I think I've got nine bundles. And I will do it again because I do, as I said, need to move things on. I did a big clean up today, guys. I did it. I've been mentioning that I wanted to take everything out of, out. I took everything off my table. Not everything, but most, all of the stuff around here. And what number am I up to? Five. Got to find number five. Oh, here it is. Um, and I, and all the, I had stuff all over the floor. It's all moved out and I organized everything. So I'm feeling very happy. So this, I think, is a little missile. It's actually real. Look at that. It's really lovely. Look at the pages. This is an old one. I would, this would be 1800s. Quite often you can't find a date on them. I mean, it is divine. Oh, that's really, be I've been hanging on to that for a long time. 1879, there you go. Really gorgeous one. I think that's probably a keeper. I, I know that there are people that collect them because the covers are really beautiful and they're embossed sort of thing there. So this is a very old book. It's falling apart. It was a leather cover. So that's, look, you can see the makings, but has this lovely, this is, usually when I see this, I know that they're French. Um, we'll see. Was 150 euro. <laughs> I didn't pay that. Um, wait, here's the title page. Yes, it's French and it is 1755 Avignon something. So already falling apart, great book too. Reuse and maybe you could do some fun things that with that sort of cover. Now these are rebound books, but they're very old. This one is 1795, Poesia. So it's about some poems, some sort of poems. Usually they're religious, but they're, this one's poems. Then we have this one here. This is another rag paper. So this is a good bundle, 1819. I just literally weighed them. I didn't look, so beautiful rag paper. A repurpose, re, a newer cover, but still nice covers to use. And then this is an older cover, Worm. Look at the... The bullet holes in it. Looks like bullet holes, doesn't it? And there you, there you go. There's some worm attackage, but rag paper and 1842. This is rag paper. So that's borderline when I see the rag paper um, happening. And you'll notice that um, it was explained to me by an antique dealer when they attack, they don't particularly like the ink. So mostly they'll eat around or in between the lines. 
occasionally they'll go over but they don't like the ink on the pages so that there's a, there's a fun fact for you they're actually quite cute when i was um freezing them and i and i did pull apart some of the 1600s books and they were they were full of live ones um they're not actually gross they're tiny little creamy colored little things um i know i sound weird but <laughs> Usually, I'm very, like, in Italian you say schizzinosa, which means, like, things really gross you out. I'm normally like that, but they, they don't for some reason. Um, so, bundle six. I know this is narrow, but I would pull that apart and make a very nice size journal because that one is um, nine by five and a half. So, it's a good size um, and gorgeous inside, 1856 and rag oh, oh not quite could be rag paper i don't know it's confusing me with the deckled edge but that is beautiful paper if i wasn't de-stashing i would look at that and put it back where it was even though it like the cover's nothing you know super special so this is a new journal cover this one is french and 1868 great paper great paper that one this one see it's coming apart but really interesting cover i haven't seen that pattern before um nice size and 1853 fabulous paper and great font borderline paper could be could have an element of rag i don't think so but really nice paper and then this one here is bigger so i tried to give a variety of sizes um, oh, this is the op this is another tome. See, there were lots of tomes. This is number seven, um, seventeen ninety seven. This one, and that's beautiful rag paper with a little bit of worm damage. A little bit of wormy damage. Yeah. So there we go. And then here we have. Yep. Yeah, so again, with the wormy ones. 1856 gorgeous paper that is gorgeous i love that paper really nice paper so that's bundle six yeah with the wormy ones immediately when they arrive take them outside pull them apart don't don't bring all that dust into your home and just in case there's any wiggly things um you get rid of them so here are the the i've got three under one kilos and so that's two books because they're heavy. This one's quite damaged, but I would put some lace coming down there. I mean, you could have fun with this book. Quite wormy damaged. It's the 1860s book and very nice paper there. Oh, that's bundle nine. I'm showing it out of order. And I love this cover. Really nice cover. And worm damage. That's rag paper. Oh, yeah, this is an old one. 1835. And that is all rag paper. Worm damaged rag paper. That one. And so that one, um, I'll shake them all out before I, I parcel them up. Um, but there, you know, there could be more to shake out. So do open them outside. I know I'm repetitive, but, um, you know, I'm when I'm pulling those ones apart, I do it in an area where I'm not concerned about the, that I can clean easily. So this is bundle seven. The other one, look at this. I love that. That says 19. It's Storia dell'Italia, 1848. Pretty old book and really great paper in there and then this gorgeous cover here and this is an old one 1823 is i just love that page frati something cappuccini and kona ostra so that normally they would take that off i don't think we're meant to know that i think they would take that up that's where you're seeing them ripping ripping them off but that's beautiful rag paper that one and then bundle eight is this one it's a big chunky monkey book and a lovely smaller blue book um gorgeous cover worm damage and maturata 1830 rag paper this one's rag paper great rag paper actually a bit of worm damage not too bad and then this one this one's rag paper as well, so this is pretty old. I think this might be a 17s, but I don't see the original page. Let's see here if I can find it. Sometimes the pages are different sizes too. It doesn't say there. 
Someone's done some writing. Seventeen eighty seven. Sometimes you can find the date in the back. So that's those two. Nice bundle. So that is my Etsy update. The links will be in the description box. I will be de-stashing more books. And, um, yeah, I think it's a nice idea. I know it's not um, affordable necessarily for some that they're bundled. I'll also, I've will also i got two big books, too, that I'm going to put in separately. I've got two of the same ones, so there'll be a separate listing for those. I forgot to bring those in here. Um, they're bigger, bigger format book. Um, and I will do some single Pringle um, book listings um, to make it more affordable for, for affordable for people. But I just wanted to start um, de-stashing a bit because I do have a lot of books and I would like to create some space. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and I will see you again soon. Bye.